what's up mga pare ko? So for this video, magkakaroon po tayo mga practice problems on proving identities para mas marami kayong mga examples. So let's go. This problem, kung mapapansin nyo, parang may difference of two squares sila, no? So I will choose to evaluate the left side kasi ito, hindi natin siyang pwedeng gawing difference of two, two squares kasi positive yung sign niya. So dito kasi negative yan, ito na nag-evaluate natin. So evaluating that, i-factor out natin siya. That would be equal to second squared theta minus second theta is multiplied to second squared. Papalitan lang natin yung sign na negative into positive minus square root ng ano, which is second theta. Next thing to do here guys, kung mapansin nyo, second squared theta is an identity which is equals to 1 plus tangent squared theta. Ituloy natin to second theta multiplied to 1 plus tangent squared theta plus second theta. Finactor out ko siya para maging ganito para makakuha ko ng uh, tangent na function. Kasi nung tinitignan ko to that, that's the only way to to convert this into tangent using the Pythagorean, yeah, Pythagorean identity na makuha natin to So, next thing to do here guys, multiply it again using difference of two squares. Pero ito, let's put this as one term. This is the first term and this is the second term. Alright? So, mag, magkasama yan. So, doing that, magmumultiply itong dalawang to So, mag, magpo-foil itong dalawang to So, 1 plus tangent squared theta, yan parang magiging square yan. So, doing that, that would be equal to 1 square is 1 plus 2 tangent squared theta plus tangent raised to 4 theta. And next is, ito naman yung second squared, so that would be equal to minus second squared theta. Because we just square them. Ito, in-square natin yung mga first terms. In-square din natin yung mga second terms. Then next, i-convert na natin itong second squared theta sa kanyang... Uh, sa kadiag form, which is using the Pythagorean identity, 1 plus tangent squared theta. So, doing that, let's copy this out. 1 plus 2 tangent squared theta plus tangent raised to 4 theta minus, minus 1 plus tangent squared theta. Distribute natin yung negative sign. Ito, guys, magiging negative to. Ito, magiging negative rin to. So, kung mapapansin natin, we can cancel things like dito. Dito, 1 minus 1 is cancelled out. That would be equal to 0. We have tangent squared theta and 2 tangent squared theta. They have the same variable. That would be equal to 2 minus 1 is equals to only 2 tangent squared theta. Kasi 2 minus 1 is 1. Then plus tangent raised to 4 theta. So basically, we have proof. This is end of proof. This is equal to this one. Alright, next. Problem number 2. So, in our problem number 2, 2 cosecant x is equals to this. So, what will we do here? Uh, since mas complicated yung right side, I choose to evaluate, simplify natin tong right side. So, katulad na napag-usapan natin sa ating previous videos, uh, kung may mga rationals ka kung saan pwede ka mag-multiply ng conjugates, then do it. Pero kung sa saan, sa may denominator ba numerator, at sabi ko nga, I prefer na mag-multiply ka doon sa may rational expression na may yung binomial terms nasa denominator, which is ito. Bakit? Kasi mag-iisang term na lang yung denominator niya. So, I will multiply here first the conjugate. So, it will be sin x over 1 plus cosine x. So, multiply ko yung conjugate, which is 1 minus cosine x over 1 minus cosine x. Multiplying, that would be equal to, distribute natin yan, it would be equal to sin x minus sin x cosine x. That would be over. This is a difference of 2 squared, so that would be 1 times 1 is 1. Cosine x times cosine x is cosine x squared. Cosine squared x. So, minus cosine squared x. Next thing to do, Mapapansin nyo, itong denominator natin guys, 1 minus cosine squared x is a Pythagorean identity which is equal to sine squared x. ba? And ito, that's equal to sine x minus sine x cosine x. Then ito, ilagay na natin dito. Kadugtong yan eh. Alright? So that would be equal to plus. Uh, I prefer na hatiin na natin to guys. I will show you mamaya kasi kung bakit kailangan hatiin yan. So that would be equal to 1 over Sine x, just copy the denominator, plus cosine x over sine x. The same denominator. 
So what we need to do is dapat magparehas yung mga denominators nila. So ito hahatiin ko rin to. So pag hinati ko yan, that would be equal to sin x over sin squared x minus sin x cosine x over sin squared x. Ikapin natin to 1 over sin x plus cosine x over sin x. So dito, we can cancel out things. Sin x, makancel to. Maiwan na lang yung sin x sa baba. Dito, makancel maka na rin yung sin x. Makancel yung squared sa baba. So basically, dito, meron na tayong same denominator sa lahat. 1 minus sin x minus cosine x over sin x plus 1 over sin x plus cosine x over sin x. Okay, so let's cancel things. Negative cosine x plus cosine x is basically magka-cancel out to. Yan. So, matitira na lang is 1 plus 1. So, solving that, 1 plus 1 is basically equal to 2. They have the same denominator, that's sin x. So, meron tayong value na 2 sin x. Pero dapat yung mag-result siya sa 2 cosecant of x. Dapat mag-result siya sa 2 cosecant of x. So, doing that, we know that sin x is the reciprocal of cosecant. So, that would be equal to 2 cosecant of x. So basically, we have proven na this identity. Alright? Next problem. Problem number 3. Kapag meron tayong mga rational expression na pwede magmultiply ng conjugate, saan, saan yung pipiliin mo? Always choose mas magandang piliin mo na magmultiply sa conjugate doon kapag yung, dina, yung binomial term is nasa denominator kasi magiging isang term na lang siya. Which is, iniiwasan natin maging dalawang term yung denominator mo. Yun yung iniiwasan natin. So, how to do that? Again, so since dito, ito yung pipiliin kong i-evaluate kasi dito yung sinasabi kong binomial term. So, evaluating that, cosine x over 1 plus sin x, multiply natin yung conjugate niya, which is 1 minus sin x over 1 minus sin x. That would be equal to, multiply natin yan, that would be distribute <laughs> cosine x minus sin x cosine x. 1 times 1 is 1, and square the second term. So, kung mapapansin nyo guys, itong ating denominator, 1 minus sine squared x is equal siya sa Pythagorean identity which is equal to cosine squared x. So, ito, yung taas natin, that's equal, let's just copy that, cosine x minus sine x cosine x. What we need to do is separate natin siya, bakit natin siya paghihiwalayin? Kasi, to cancel terms. Kung mapapansin, nyo, kung mapapansin nyo, kasi dito, ang ating denominator dito, kung is cosine x, hindi siya cosine squared x, so I need to separate them to cancel to cancel things, alright? So, separate ko yan, that would be equal to cosine x over cosine squared x minus sine x, cosine x over cosine squared x. I will cancel this, makakancel to. Ito, makakancel yan, makakancel yan. So, what, we, what is left is 1 over cosine x minus sine over cosine x, kasi cancel na yan. Since they have the same denominator, that would be equal to cosine x, 1, minus sine, and prove na yan ay equal dyan. Alright? Next problem. Problem number 4. What will I do here, guys, is dapat, I should find a way na masimplify ko itong mga terms at makagawa ko ng, makagawa, maka, maka form ako para maging tangent siya. So, paano ko gagawin yon? First thing to do, I will multiply, uh, certain term which is equal to 1. The first thing to do is to convert everything here into sine into cosine. In that way, mas ma mapapansin nyo kung anong pwede nyo gawin para gawing tangent siya, ba? Kasi yung goal mo is gawing tangent. So, second is the reciprocal of 1 over cosine. Okay? So, that's minus. Cosecant is 1 over... What's cosecant? That's 1 over, I think, sine. Tama ba? Yeah. Yan. So, that's the same here. Mapapalitan lang yung sine, that's 1 over cosine A. I forgot that A there. Plus 1 over sine A. Now, ano yung pwede mong gawin dito para makabuo ka ng tangent? And we know that tangent, excuse me, tangent is equals to sine over cosine. So dito, take a look guys. May cosine na ako sa baba. So kapag mag-multiply mag ako sa numerator ng sine, this will become tangent. So, evaluating this, I have came into ano, na magmultiply ako ng sine dito. So, I will multiply sine over sine. 
Kasi sine over sine is equals to 1. So parang pag multiply ko dyan, wala rin nangyari. It's okay. Pwede kayong mag-multiply ng mga terms into another term, pero dapat yung term na yun ay equal to 1. Para lang maka-simplify kayo ng mga terms. It's another process. I forgot to add that in my previous videos, pero pwede po yan. So multiplying sine, i-distribute natin yan, guys. Ito, mag-distribute doon. I-distribute din dito. So doing that, let's multiply. That would be equal to sine, sine over cosine. Next, that would be minus sine over sine. That's A, that's A. Over next, that would be sine A over cosine A plus sine A over cosine A. So sine A over cosine A, that's tangent. Diba? Tangent A. Minus sine divided by sine. Equal divided by equal is 1. Over that's also equal to tangent A plus, this is sine pala guys, this is sine, sorry. Sine A, di ba dito sine kasi sine, okay, sorry, mali yung nasulat ko. Sine A divided by sine A is equal to 1. So this is now equal to this. So proof. So yun, another step is yung ganito nga. Kapag, uh, pwede, kapag gusto nyo pang mag-simplify, pwede kayong mag-set ng mga numbers or functions na kapag minultiply nyo sa kabila, it would... It would make your it would make the ano simpler it's a way pero dapat ito equal to one so pwede ako ng gumawa ng ano for example sine squared cosine squared x over dapat sine squared cosine squared x pwede ako ng multiply ng ganon in the terms na gusto ko para mas mas simplify ko siya alright next problem yow alright so for this problem number five di ba palagi yung sinasabi na kapag meron tayong rational expression tapos yung May binomial sa baba na pwede natin mag-multiply ng conjugate, yun yung unahin natin. That's not always like this. In this case, when I was solving this problem, I tried that method. Hindi siya applicable dito. Na, di ko alam, di ko, di ko, tinry ko dito, hindi ko siya nakuha. So, let's go on this. Pero, on most cases kasi, it's very applicable on those. Pero hindi naman lahat. It's all just, it's a first choice. Pwede namang pag nahirapan na, balik na agad sa kabila. Stop na, tapos ituloy na yung isa. So, let's do this. How will I do this, guys? The first thing I do here is, uh, separate ko siya. So, tangent, convert ko na siya sa sine and cosine. That's equals to sine x over cosine x. That would be equal to over sine 3 of x minus sine of x over sine Raised to 3x. So, evaluate ko to. Ito, magiging, parang minultiply ko lang siya sa reciprocal nito, which is 1 over sine 3 of x. Itong 3, magiging 2, makakansal yun. So, ibig sabihin sa baba, that's 1 over sine squared x cosine x minus, yung ito naman, magkakansal yung sine ito, magiging 2. So, that's 1 over sine squared x. Okay, so, okay. Nang, kapag nakuha ko na yan, the next thing I did was to simplify this and make this as one term. ba kasi ito one term lang to. So, pinag-isa ko ulit sila. So, what I did here, biniyak ko sila, pinaghiwalay ko sila para makakansal ako ng mga functions para mas simpler. Then after that, pagsasamahin ko ulit sila para maging isang term. Alright? So, pag pinagsamahin, I just multiply the denominators. That's, that would be equal to sine raised to 4x, cosine x because that's 2 plus 2. Then, cross multiply. Sine squared x minus sine squared x cosine of x. So, let's continue that here. So, pwede natin i-factor out. Kasi ito, same, merong same na similar na ano para maging simpler siya. So, it's a matter of uh, pansinan, medyo trial and error ng konti. Pansinin mo kung anong pwede mong gawin para maging simpler. Then, until makaka-derive ka, that's, that's really the process with that. So, ito, pwede kong mailabas to may factor out yan. So, that would be equal to sine squared X. So, since na-factor ko yan dito, that would be equal to 1 minus, na, natanggal ko na rin to, cosine X. So, kung makikita nyo, medyo napapa, napapa lapit na tayo sa ating final answer. That's over. Siyempre, sa baba naman yan, that's still sine raised to 4. So, ito, I prefer, no, I prefer na paghiwalayin muna sila. Tanggalin ko muna yung sine squared x kasi di ba may sine squared x dito. So, I need to get off of that. Pwede ko yung gawin yung sa, sa baba. So, gagawin ko yung sine squared of x, sine squared of x. Kasi it's just the same, sine raised to 4, cosine of 
x. So, ito, I can cancel that out. Next thing to do, guys, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong cosine x dito, ba? Diba? Pwede nating i-factor out yan sa labas. So, parang magiging 1 over cosine of x. That would be equal to 1 minus cosine x. Parang over sine squared of x, ba? So, itong 1 cosine of x na factor, that is the reciprocal identity of ito. Second x, ba? Second x. So, isang tabi muna natin yan. Dito muna tayo evaluate natin itong natira. So, that's 1 minus cosine of x sine squared of x. Pero kung mapansin nyo, ba? Sine squared of x is, uh, what do you call that? Is an identity. Is an identity which is equal to, uh, this is also equal to 1 minus cosine squared of x. And 1 minus cosine of squared of x, we can simplify that more, di ba? Kasi ito, difference of 2 squares siya. Pwede natin siya mas masimplify. Kasi di ba, kung mapapansin nyo dito, yung second, okay na eh. Pero, itong 1 plus cosine squared of x, dapat nasa denominator siya. So, paano natin maka-cancel out ito sa numerator? Pansinin nyo na itong denominator natin is a perfect square. So, that would be equal to second x. Kapag Wait, let me make some space. Kapag ito, finactor out natin yan, that's equals to 1 minus cosine x, 1 plus cosine x. Difference of 2 squares, 1 minus cosine x. So, kung mapapansin nyo, makakancel na natin to. Cancel that out, cancel that out. Yung natira sa baba is like here. So, that would be equal to second x over 1 plus cosine of x. So, we have proved it that second x, yung ito, is equal siya dito is also an equal hanggang dito so that is that's it mga barikoy if you have some problem comment down below try nating sasagutin yan bye bye mga barikoy